Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac. And today we're going to talk about the new concession system that is coming into place immediately. Now, the concession system has caused a lot of drama, especially and has people divided on whether concessions should be brought back in or not. But regardless of what we think, a deal has been reached and all manufacturers have agreed this. Remember, to make a technical regulation change, the MSMA must all agree, and they have done. But it didn't go all that easy. But what they have now announced is that there is going to be a ranking system, and the ranking system is going to be A, B, C, or D. And within that ranking system, is going to be based off the percentage of total points scored in the season. So if you score 85% or more of the total points scored, you will be in category or ranked as A. If you are between 60 and 85, you will be ranked B. And if you are between 35% and 60%, you will be ranked C. And if you were less than 35% of the total points scored, then you will be ranked D. Now, this is for manufacturers and manufacturers only. There is some other, I suppose, concessions that realistically are going to happen. If you are ranked A, you will have only 170 test tires. It's only restricted to your test rider you're restricted to using three circuits. You will not have any wild cards. You will be restricted to seven or eight engines per season. Your engine spec is frozen and you only get one aero update in the year. If you are ranked in B, you will have 190 test tires. You can still only use your test rider. You're still restricted to using three circuits. You will have three wildcard appearances allowed. You will have seven or eight engines again. Your engine spec is frozen at the start of the season and you're allowed one aero update. Now, if you are ranked in C, you will have 220 test tires. Again, you will be restricted to using your test rider only. Three circuits only. You will be allowed six wild cards. You will be allowed seven or eight engines per season. Your engine spec is frozen and you're allowed one aero update. And if you're in category D or ranked as category D, you will have 260 tires you will have free testing which means you can use your race riders or you can use your test riders you're not restricted to any circuit you can use any circuit that you want to you will have six wild cards per season allowed you will have nine or ten engines you are free to develop your engine throughout the year and you will have two aero updates. Now, when we look at the manufacturer ranking, how does it fare? Well, Ducati have 700 points. So the factory team had 96% of those uh, 700 points. So they're ranked category A. KTM had 373 points. So they're at 51%. So they're ranked a category C. Aprilia had 326 points. So they're at 45%. So they're also ranked C. Yamaha had 196 points, which is equal to 27%. So they are ranked D. Honda had 185 points, which is equal to 25% of the total points scored. So therefore, they are also ranked D. So the long story short within this is that both Yamaha and Honda immediately for the 2024 season will have 
260 tires. They will be allowed to use their race riders and test riders. They will be allowed to test at any circuit that they want to. They will be allowed nine or 10 engines per year. They will be free to develop their engine throughout the year. And they have two aero updates within the season. Now, there is also another little bit of a kicker here is that if a team does start all of a sudden performing, there is two windows of where the concession ranking will be done. So the first window is from the first event of the season. So realistically, they will be using last year's points to get an understanding of where teams are. So the ranking is, as I mentioned above, the second window is from the first event after the summer test ban. And so it basically what it means is they will redo the the ranking to in order to if Honda and Yamaha all of a sudden jump up the grid and move into a C, what will happen is if they are moving up they will say their engine allowance will be reduced. The engine specification will be frozen. Uh, they will, um, and it will be frozen until they return back to a rank D, say, at the end of the season. But if they go up, um, you know, the concessions come in immediately. If they move down, the engine allowance will be increased. The the free engine specification will be added um, and one more aero update will be allowed if and only if the previous one is discarded now it is going to be an immediate um thing that is going to happen you know um do i agree with it <laughs> Yes and no. Look, I do want. I do get what they're trying to do. It is the lesser of two evils, in my view. Um, but again, still, I do believe Honda and Yamaha have enough data from the past to figure this out. But I would definitely love to know your thoughts. What do you think of the new concession system? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.